Welcome to this week's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. Come on, baby. That's a giant. With James Holtz and the IDO fishing team. On the ice, chasing the hottest bites. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> This is so much fun. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Hey everybody, James Holst here with In-Depth Outdoors and on today's show we're chasing yellow perch on Devil's Lake. And I'm gonna apologize in advance to all you perch hunters out there. Uh, the size and quantity of yellow perch that we catch on today's show is gonna cost you a little sleep. There's just no way around it. Uh, and second, for anybody out there watching that's ever wondered about how useful is an underwater camera to the ice fisherman, pay very close attention to how we use the camera in this show to entice bites, target the biggest fish, and separate one species from another. We get just a tremendous underwater look at what's going on under the ice, and it made all the difference in this show to our catch rate. This show came together because of one phone call. Uh, I was sitting around on a weekend wondering, you know, should I go north or south? Wasn't really sure I was going to fish and my phone rings. It's Chris from Perch Eyes Guide Service, and this guy says simply, the perch are on, man. Can you be here tomorrow? Uh, it happened so quick, I couldn't even find anybody to fish with me. I got a cameraman, and the truck headed west to North Dakota. And uh, I bring that up because if you are a perch hunter, if you love to catch yellow perch, stick around for the end of the show. We're gonna run contact information for Chris and Perch Eyes Guide Service. He has his finger on the pulse of the bite, you're going to want to be on this guy's call list. So stick around. You're going to enjoy the show. Oh, this is cool. I've got multiple perch just eyeballing this jig. I've got the bigger one out of the three just staring at it. Oh, got him. Oh, that is so cool. If you've never used an underwater camera like this Markham 625 that we're using today, there's nothing cooler to be able to watch that fish come in coax him all the way. If this is a perch, this is a good one. I'm telling you what, they just keep getting bigger. This is the time of the day when they're supposed to slow down. You know, sometime before we're done here today, we're going to put some of these fish side by side so you can get a real appreciation for how big they are. This place, Devil's Lake, North Dakota, truly special. Uh, it's growing. Uh, it, it keeps expanding each year due to more water coming into the lake. It's incredibly fertile, tons of food, and that's what's allowing these fish to get so big. It's a rare place where a guy can consistently get into perch of this quality. And Devil's Lake really has got to be one of the best big perch fisheries in the country. We'll let that one go to the ice. I mean, what a great fish, just completely gorgeous. I love the tiger bars on them, and when we're talking food, you know, a fish that really makes great table fare, the perch unequaled in fresh water. So uh, I'm excited to be out here catching fish with uh, Perch Eyes Guide Service. And I tell you what, I might be even more excited to get home and get these fish uh, on the plate. So, uh, you know, if you love to catch perch, you love to share fish with your friends and family, Perch Devil's Lake might be the perfect destination. I need another minnow. And I've got more perch down there. What I'm doing here is I'm fighting these fish today on a 36 inch quiver stick. Uh, it's a rod from Thorn Brothers. It's a great blank, very sensitive titanium guides. And then I'm fishing that fly reel. Uh, it's got a great drag. Uh, just makes fishing these pan fish just so much more fun in my opinion. Oh, there's one. Oh my, <laughs> this feels nice. You know, when you get four, five, six of them on the screen like that, it's hard, oh my, oh. Look at that thing! Tell me you wouldn't drive clear across the country to catch one that size. I haven't caught a perch that big, you know, when I was a kid. I caught a perch this big on the Mississippi River. As far as in my adult life, I haven't caught one that big in a long time. What a giant! Um, perspective. I want to give some perspective on this. You know, that's that 12 incher. I, I put that fish on that Frable ice scooper. It's got a measuring stick on it. Look at that. That's a 12. I haven't measured this one yet. I bet you he's close to 15 inches long. You know, and uh, Chris was telling us earlier, 
uh, a 14, 14 and a half inch perch will be over two pounds. That could easily be two, two and a quarter pound perch right there. And you know what? I think I'm gonna take a picture with that one because that is a giant. That's what it's all about, Devil's Lake, one of those rare places where a guy can show up. This one's gonna go uh, in the pan. I'm gonna take a picture of this one, let him go. So there you can see the size of the minnows we're using. I mean, that is a one 32nd ounce jig and you can see that the fathead minnow is not a heck of a lot bigger. And I'm gonna hook him up, it's real cold. What I like to do, I don't wanna freeze him, so I'll do this quickly. So I take that hook and run it right down the back like that, just under the skin. Boop, hook pops out like that, fish comes, grabs the bait, hook catches that perch right in the top lip. Awful deadly. I love fishing with the cameras. I mean, right now I've got my flasher turned off. I mean, typically I wouldn't even think about going out on the ice to fish without my flasher, but this is one of those scenarios where the water clarity is so good. You get to see every little detail. There he is. Here he comes. You know, he's not nearly as big as I thought he was. Like I said, it's hard to judge when you're watching on an underwater camera. I'd say he's about an 11 incher. Super nice fish. Again, this is supposed to be that time of the day when the fish aren't biting. Not those giant 13 and 14 inchers that this uh, lake can produce, but you know, if I have to put up with slow fishing middle of the day and catch 11 inchers, I'll be just fine with that. There's an old saying, you can give a man a fish or teach him how to fish. But what if you gave him something that taught him how to fish better? Smarter. Faster. Seems like you've made a happy man. Markham. Tech that makes anglers happy. Some would have you believe things aren't built to last anymore. At Otter Outdoors, every day starts with the same three questions. Is it tougher? Is it stronger? Is it smarter? If the answer is no, we toss it out and start over. With the legendary Otter Sled, it's built tougher. With a 900 denier shell, it's built stronger. With an extensive line of accessories, it's built smarter. Otter products are built with the hardcore ice angler in mind. Now that's something you can believe in. Mind if I fish with you guys? No, but if you're using custom jigs and spins lures, you better get a bigger bucket. With custom jigs and spins, new tungsten heavy metal jigs, you'll get down to the big ones quickly and catch more and bigger fish. These jigs have been designed by world-renowned Croatian ice fisherman Czechai Matten. Czechai number one with Czechai lures fishing. Go Czechai, go! So when you use custom jigs and spins, try the new tungsten heavy metal ice jigs. Custom jigs and spins, the hottest bait below the ice. Thorn Brothers is your ice fishing headquarters, offering a huge selection of ice fishing gear from ice tackle to ice houses. Thorn Brothers has the best prices on brands you rely on to help you put more fish on the ice. Looking for a custom ice rod? Our in-house custom rod shop makes the most sensitive ice rod you've ever laid your hands on. Stop into our new store located off Highway 65 in Blaine, Minnesota, or browse our large inventory online. Thorn Brothers, helping you make this your most enjoyable ice season ever. You know, one of the things about a perch bite like this is they're always so streaky. Uh, throughout the course of the day, you'll have long periods where the fish are real lethargic. And uh, what we're on now is just an incredible hot streak. Just about every fish that comes in and touches the bait takes it like this. So it's one after the other. And they're all devils like giants right now. You know, this is the kind of bite that perch fishermen dream about. This, probably 11, maybe almost a 12 inch perch. It's not even close to one of our bigger ones today at all. Um, we're able to catch these now pretty much at will, which makes this a very special bite. Uh, anybody that spends any amount of time fishing perch knows, you know, that could be the fish of a day on a lot of bodies of water. Here, it quite literally is one of the smaller fish we're gonna catch today. And you know, ironically, we're catching very few small fish. Uh, we do see them on the, on the cameras, and uh, um, they're there in numbers, but they're just not biting. Literally, all we get are these larger perch. Are they more aggressive? Do they outcompete the smaller perch? It's hard to say. Uh, there are multiple year classes present, but just about everything is this size or bigger. And we are 
quickly amassing one heck of a fish fry. I've got kind of a little pile of perch over here in the corner and uh, they're stacking up. I'm gonna cut myself off here after a couple more because we really don't need any more for dinner, that's for sure. But uh, you know, as far as quality goes, uh, the table fare, the quality of the meat of a yellow perch, absolutely the best in fresh water in my opinion. Here they come. <laughs> just an absolute herd of them. The thing here is they're just grabbing the tail of that minnow. You know, it's so interesting when you're using these underwater cameras, you can see why the fish, uh, the perch specifically, are so focused on picking the baits up off the bottom. Because you can see all the northerns two feet, three feet up above the bottom. So basically the perch have the run of the bottom and anything that gets up off the bottom, that's perch territory. And this feels like a nice perch here. He's fighting really hard. They're all nice, but that one's exceptional. That is a big fatty. Every one of these fish is just fantastic. I mean, we've got a school of hundreds of fish this size and larger beneath us. If that's not fun, if that doesn't get you excited as a nice fisherman, nothing will. And as far as uh, presentation goes, just a small jig, custom jigs and spins, and a fathead minnow. Um, I don't know that color makes much of a difference. Uh, I was using white earlier, was catching fish on that, and now I've gone to an orange. Orange seems to be really hot right now. And you know what? That fish is so big, I'm going to let him go. What we'll try to do here is we're going to try to keep those 11s and 12s. You know, on most bodies of water, guys would say, wow, those are the great big perch. Here, actually, the 13s, 14s, 14 and a halfs represent the largest fish available. And uh, the 11s and 12s really are the eaters. What a fantastic fish. You know, anytime you got a perch that'll go from the tip of your finger way up your forearm, that's a dandy. <laughs> down you go, buddy. Well, you don't want to go down, huh? Swam right back up. There it goes. These would love to take that other perch's place. You know, as far as this bite goes, we're talking about one of the very best perch bites I've been on for both uh, numbers and obviously the quality is incredible. Now, perch tend to be aggressive. Uh, anybody that spends any time fishing perch in the winter knows that, uh, you know, it doesn't take a lot to convince a perch to bite. Of course, a lot of times those fish are pretty small. These fish, incredibly special. Devil's Lake can just consistently lives up to its reputation as that perch factory. Ah, oh, this is fun stuff. I need another minnow. Hello, I'm Dave Markworth. I'd like to introduce you to the Skeeter Boat Center in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. At the Skeeter Boat Center, we carry the Midwest's largest selection of Skeeter fishing boats, all at prices you can afford. And we offer test drives on most models in stock. Our highly trained staff will provide you the personalized service that you deserve. So check us out at SkeeterBoatCenter.com, where our goal is to help you have fun fishing. There's an old saying, you can give a man a fish, or teach him how to fish. But what if you gave him something that taught him how to fish better, smarter, faster? Seems like you've made a happy man. Markham, tech that makes anglers happy. Mind if I fish with you guys? No, but if you're using custom jigs and spins lures, you better get a bigger bucket. With custom jigs and spins, new tungsten heavy metal jigs, you'll get down to the big ones quickly and catch more and bigger fish. These jigs have been designed by world-renowned Croatian ice fisherman Czechai Matt. Czechai number one with Czechai lures fishing. Go Czechai, go! So when you use custom jigs and spins, try the new tungsten heavy metal ice jigs. Custom jigs and spins, the highest bait below the ice. 
there are so many perch. I mean, it's just like a herd of wildebeest. Here comes the jig, and they're on it. Come on, I'm gonna, I want it. Oh, there's just such a huge percher. I've got this perch has the bait. I'm gonna see if I can't get the bigger one to pick it up. Come on, no, got it, no, it worked. It worked like a charm. This is a big perch. A smaller one had it. I didn't set the hook. Oh, you're not gonna believe it. You're not gonna believe it. Look at that, just a giant. Anybody can have a great time catching fish of that quality in this quantity. Well, we're gonna let that big girl go. Bye, sweetheart. Whoosh, and off she goes. This one's dinner, that other one, I tell you what, if I wasn't gonna put that on the wall and you know, I don't really need a perch on the wall, but if I was gonna keep one, that would have been it. So back at it. I switched things up here just a little bit. What I did is I went to a lightning spoon and uh, believe it or not, I've got a crappie. I'd be thinking I've got a great big perch, but with the cameras, you get to see everything. And this is a giant crappie, hard to tell. They're pretty much all just giants. Look at this, got him. <laughs> what a sweet fish. You know, Devil's Lake is not known for crappies, but obviously they're, they're here. And just like the perch and the walleyes, they're all big. Let that fish go. What a sweet fish. Come on, girl. And off they go. You know, one of the things I love about catching fish in shallow water like this, we've been fishing from about nine out to about 10 and a half feet is the fish release in great shape. We've been selective with the perch we've been keeping. We've let the bigger perch go. Obviously, I don't expect to catch a number of crappie here on Devil's Lake. So that one fish, it was just a great little bonus fish. Uh, let it go, it releases great. So uh, uh, Devil's Lake, you know, you've got kind of two different fisheries here. There are deep basin uh, perch to be had here. There's also a shallow bite. And if I've got to choose between the two, shallow every time for this guy. Very cool. Jig gets down there, fish come running. <laughs> Won't be long. Come on, brother. This is why people love perch fishing so much. Constant action, great table fare, and very often they're aggressive fish. Oh, I got a pike nosing in now. You know, these perch are so big that they're not chased off completely by these pike, but they're not gonna push their luck. If there's a pike nosing up to the bait, they're gonna give that pike a, a berth. They don't wanna get bit. They don't really wanna get run off. So very often when I've got a pike in there, eyeballing that bait, unless it's a really big perch, those perch will kinda stay off to the edges a little bit. I got a big one coming in here. Got him. This is a big one. Come on, baby. There we go. Huh? Jeez. What a special bite, you know. If you have any doubts about the value of an underwater camera and what it can do for your fishing, uh, we're verifying the presence of fish. We're verifying the species. We're using it to fine tune the presentation. Uh, we figured out that these fish do not want the baits way up off the bottom. They're obviously willing to pick these baits right up out of the sand. And we're also using those cameras to make sure we're steering clear of those small pike. Two pound test line, small jig, little pike, all we'd be doing all day long was tying on new baits. So this camera today is absolutely integral to everything we're doing. Those are the rewards. That perch is pushing out towards 15, uh, 14 inches. Another great big perch. Too big to eat. Can let that one go. And the nice thing is, I can easily drop right back down and catch another. Well, I'm spoiled and I'm gonna continue to spoil myself because as a fisherman, we all know, days like this are truly special. They just don't come around very often. Uh, do the fish bite like this every day on Devil's Lake? Of course not. This is an example of the right place at the right time. And I'm gonna enjoy every minute of it. Back you go, sweetheart. They're so fat, you can hardly hold them. 
Some would have you believe things aren't built to last anymore. At Otter Outdoors, every day starts with the same three questions. Is it tougher? Is it stronger? Is it smarter? If the answer is no, we toss it out and start over. With the legendary Otter Sled, it's built tougher. With a 900 denier shell, it's built stronger. With an extensive line of accessories, it's built smarter. Otter products are built with the hardcore ice angler in mind. Now that's something you can believe in. I'm Dave Markworth. I'd like to introduce you to the Skeeter Boat Center in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. At the Skeeter Boat Center, we carry the Midwest's largest selection of Skeeter fishing boats, all at prices you can afford. And we offer test drives on most models in stock. Our highly trained staff will provide you the personalized service that you deserve. So check us out at SkeeterBoatCenter.com, where our goal is to help you have fun fishing. You know, the trick today has been to get these fish to come in, and then once they come in, just, oh, there he is, just go absolutely dead calm with that rod tip. You know, we're looking for just the tiniest little kicks of that minnow tail to seal the deal. Those perch will just come eyeball to, to fin on these fathead minnows. This is fantastic fishing. I love catching perch. You know, most of the time, a guy is going to be looking at catching a smaller average size. Get that jig out of there. You know what? In my opinion, that is a great eating size perch. I'm gonna guess about 11, maybe 11 and a half inches. I really don't wanna keep any of them bigger than that. So that one's gonna go home. Whew, I tell you what, it's a lot warmer this afternoon, but I'm still not convinced it's a really good idea to be out here with wet hands. So I might have to take a little break, dry out the mitts a little bit and get back at it because the fingers are starting to feel a little slow. So break time. Boy, anybody ever tells you that a yellow perch won't fight, you know, they're just not catching great big giant Devil's Lake perch. Because these fish basically amount to a fairly decent sized walleye. When you start thinking about it, I mean, a two pound walleye is a decent fish, but I tell you what, you paint stripes on him and give him a yellow sides, turn him into a perch, that's a heck of an animal. I mean, these are incredibly, you know, they're adult fish, very strong. Oh man. We're really seeing a great run of perch now. People, look at that. Just an absolute giant. You know, put this in perspective. I'm 6'4". I can palm a basketball easy. Look at that thing. Absolutely fills my hands. You know, we switched uh, jig colors there a little bit. It was using white middle of the day. You know, I don't really know that it's making much of a difference. That's just another one of those jigs, custom jigs and spins. Tipping it with a small fat head. What a giant. I mean, I've caught two or three perch today that represent the biggest perch I've caught in my life. What an incredible fishery. You know, these are such a thrill. I'll drive to northern Minnesota to catch 10, 11, and even 12 inch perch. This is a whole different critter altogether. What a fantastic fish. And you know what? I'm not going to mount it, so I'm going to let it go. I mean, that fish has obviously got a big load of eggs on board there. I mean, look at that belly. Just incredible girth. Going to try to respect that fish and let it go. You know, it's a little bit warmer out here today, uh, here in the afternoon. I'm able to fish outside, but I still don't want to frostbite the fins on the fish, so we're going to let her go. Come on, sweetheart. Down the hole with you. What an incredible fish. You know, sunny out. I can feel the warmth and the rays of the sun. Here we're in the middle of March now. It's a real pleasure to be outside fishing, catching what amounts uh, to a true trophy uh, perch. And I'm pretty pumped up. You know, it, we're not talking about a 20 pound pike here, but still, 
A fish of that caliber is very rare. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna have to tell my buddies, I'll probably be texting on the way. So uh, quite the deal. If you ever wanna get in on some you know, trophy, yellow perch, Devil's Lake, it's the place, man. I'm telling you, couldn't be any simpler. Just a tiny little jig. And as far as what's really making uh, this trip a success for me uh, is the camera. There's so many pike down there. There's so there's crappies, there's pike, uh, and all these perch that are mixed in. And really, we're able to selectively target those perch when if we're fishing just high in the water column and targeting every fish on the flasher, the majority of the fish we're catching are small pike. If you can keep your bait away from those pike and get that minnow down on the nose of the perch, you're gonna be successful. But if you're fishing blind, or if you're fishing with a flasher where you can't really discern between one fish species or the other, you're just not gonna be as successful. And you know, when it's coming down to really kind of evaluating today's show, Devil's Lake is really proving to be one of the better places to fish with a camera. Uh, the water clarity is fantastic, the fish are shallow, and because we're able to see at such distance with these cameras, it's really improving the effectiveness of the angler out here on the ice today. I need another minnow. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Yep, there he is. Oh, this is a nice one. You know, these perch have bit all day long. Oh, this might not be a perch. I told you earlier, you know, these big perch do fight hard, but this one feels really heavy. Oh, now he's coming. I think he has a perch. He hit like a perch. I said, oh, look at this. You know, that's not even the biggest perch we've had today. But we're gonna call it a day. I mean, what a phenomenal time on the ice here on Devils. Uh, if you're looking for a trophy yellow perch bite, this is it, folks. I've fished all over, and I've never had a day of perch fishing like I've had today fishing here with Perch Eyes Guide Service. And I think what made it that much more fun was being in shallow water, in clear shallow water, and being able to watch every fish every strike on camera with these uh, Markham 625 SDs. So, you know, as far as fun goes, this is it. Um, you know, I love catching yellow perch, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a long time before I have another day like this one. So I'm gonna unhook this fish. We're gonna call it a day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. For more information on Perch Eyes Guide Service, find them online at percheyes.com. If you enjoyed today's show, let our sponsors know in-depth outdoors is brought to you by markham technologies one step ahead otter outdoors tougher stronger smarter custom jigs and spins the hottest baits below the ice fxe snowsuit the science of warmth and thorn brothers your fishing specialty store